Hey guys, and welcome to our elementary lesson for our second Sunday in the month of February. So excited for you to join us during this month, which is also Black History Month. And uh, so I'm sure during Black History Month, or hopefully you are maybe learning about some new people during Black History Month. Um, we at Calvary Baptist Church certainly are making sure that not just during the month of February, but we want to make sure that we recognize those who have made an amazing contribution to where we are today um, as Black people, as African Americans within the world. And so we're going to continue our lesson for this month. Remember, we were, we've been talking about kindness, so um, we're going to kind of finish that topic up dealing with kindness, but we're going to talk about the Good Samaritan. And I know you've heard a lot about the story of the Good Samaritan. As you know, I like to do, sometimes uh, we'll read the scripture, sometimes we'll read from the Bible, but sometimes we'll show a video. And this, this today, we're going to actually look at a quick little video about the uh, Good Samaritan, and then we'll have some discussion about it. But before we get to the video, as always, just kind of want to um, take a look at our lesson for today. It's just a quick reminder. So remember, we've been talking about super fan, cheer each other on. So find the opportunity to cheer someone on. You know, it can be another, uh, you know, youth like yourself. It can be an adult, but whatever the case, you know, cheer somebody on. Tell them, great job, you're doing great. Or tell them, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, come on. Whatever the case may be, it, it's so important uh, to be able to cheer someone on. So remember kindness, our definition for kindness for this lesson, showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. 
Actions speak louder than words. Have you ever heard that? Actions speak louder than words. When we show people that they're valuable based upon how we treat them, it's, it, it does a whole lot. And I'm sure you like to be treated as if you're valuable as well, because you are. You are valuable. And so remember our memory verse for, for these Sundays here. Um, next Sunday, we'll move into something a little bit different. But for this Sunday, Colossians chapter 3, verse 12, it says, You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they, they were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. And as we talked about last week, what a privilege to know that we are God's chosen people. I mean, this, this is an amazing, you know, I remember this uh, when I began to know God and read the Bible and really commit my life unto him. I remember this overwhelming feeling of knowing that I'm chosen by God, that God loves me regardless, regardless of what I look like, regardless of how I sound, whatever the case is, God loves me. That is such an amazing feeling. I hope that you know that and you feel that as well that you're God's chosen people, that God loves you just the way that you currently are in your life. You don't have to try to change and be like somebody else and all of that for God to love you. He loves you. You're holy. That means that you're set apart. I mean, that God, he has a plan for your life. And then, I love this, you're dearly loved. Dearly loved by who? You're dearly loved by God. So it says, because of all that, put on tender mercy and kindness. And another word for mercy is really that love, that compassion. It says, put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. And so we've talked about this before. It's like just as if when you're getting dressed, it says, put on a mindset, put on an attitude that you know what, today I'm going to show love, I'm going to be kind. So the same way you get dressed is the same way we put on that mindset that you know what, because I'm chosen by God, because I'm, ho I'm, I'm holy for God, set apart for God, and because God dearly loves me, you know what? I'm going to put on compassion. I'm going to put on kindness the same way that I put on my clothes. It's going to be a daily thing. Then it says, don't be proud. Don't be puffed up. Don't be arrogant. But it says, be gentle and patient. And so even in us being compassionate, being kind, we don't do it from a proud perspective. Even though we're chosen by God and we're holy and we're, we're dearly loved and all of that, you know, we don't do it like, oh, look at me. You know, I'm doing this so that you can look at me. No, I do it gently and with patience because that's the way that God does things for us as well. So this lesson today, I told you we're going to talk about the Good Samaritan. This lesson today is about be kind to people who are different from you. Wow, that's a, this is an amazing thing here. It might be easy to be kind to people that are like you, but how about be kind to people that are different from you? People that don't look like you, people that don't sound like you, people that don't live where you live at, people that don't go to school where you go to school. I mean, people that just don't look like you or, or act like you. Can we be kind to people who are different from us? So let's look at this. So again, the Good Samaritan, I'm, I'm sure you've heard of this. This is a story that Jesus has, was telling in the Bible. Again, he's, he's speaking to a crowd. It's almost like he's preaching a message. He's sharing a story with them. But even though it's a story he's sharing with them, it is a lesson behind it that he wants them to walk away with. He wants them to get. And so the story or uh, the message about the Good Samaritan is found in the gospel, the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 25 through 37. And so what I want to do, as I was sharing with you earlier, I want to go ahead and play a video. So again, this comes from an amazing children youth ministry called Saddleback Kids. I love their different videos. We're going to play this, and then we're going to come back and talk about it. And so let's go ahead and watch our video about the Good Samaritan. <laughs> The Miracle of Mercy, The Good Samaritan. This is Jesus. Hey. 
who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Eh? Eh? Right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. <laughs> They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> By chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Uh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people, and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, The one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, Yes. Now go and do the same. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So we can see there, and, and I'm sure that you guys have certainly read the story about the Good Samaritan, but you see in that situation, um, it wasn't about, you know, because this story of the Good Samaritan, it, you know, there was three different people that passed over. So it really wasn't about, do I look like this person that was laying in the road, right? So this person, originally, if you're looking back at the story, they're walking down the road, and this road was uh, that he was going down. It had, it had been known for people to be attacked and robbed, um, but this person was attacked and robbed, and he's laying there. When the Good Samaritan finally comes, which is the last person, it's not about the Good Samaritan looked just like the guy or was related to the guy or you know was good friends to this guy that was laying in the road. Remember, the lesson is about being kind to people who are different than us. You know, last week we talked about going the extra mile. Mile. If someone asks you to go one mile, you know, and then they all of a sudden they come and say, well, I need for you to go two miles with me if you're going with them, then go ahead and go, go the extra mile um, with them. And that's exactly what the Good Samaritan did. I mean, the Good Samaritan used his resources to help this person that was laying on the road. Not only did he help bandage the person, or to put some things on an ointment to kind of help him heal. He put that person on his donkey, took the person to an uh, uh, inn, which was like a hotel, uh, so the person could stay somewhere and, and get better. And then he paid for that person's bills that would be caused by him staying there. Then he said, and, and if it costs more, I'll come back and make sure I pay that too. That is definitely an example of, you know, really being kind to people who are different from you. Again, the Bible does not let us know 
that the Good Samaritan knew or was related to or anything, you know? And in fact, this person and Samaritans, Jewish people and Samaritans, they just did not get along. And so they were very different. And so really that's our lesson today is being kind to people who are different from us. There are so many opportunities for us to be kind to people who are different from us. And Jesus asked the, even the people that were asking him these questions, he was like, well, you know, who's this person's neighbor? Who has shown compassion and kindness? That's really what it's about being a neighbor, showing compassion and kindness. Again, it's not about neighbor, I live right next door to you, but it's about me showing compassion and kindness to you. And so as we wrap things up again, you're talking about being somebody's super fan. I mean, how about being a fan of someone that you don't even know? So this good Samaritan was certainly a super fan. He not just helped cheer this person on, he helped build this person up. He helped this person get better. We don't know uh, if after this they ever met each other again. And you know what? It really doesn't matter. Because when you're kind to people who are different than you, it's not about, remember, I was looking at scripture earlier. It says, don't be proud in doing it, but be gentle. Be kind with it. Be gentle when we're being kind to different people. And so that's our lesson for today. Really super fan, cheering people on. You know, throughout the rest of the month, we'll talk about uh, some other lessons and everything. Um, but just remember this. So as you join us and, you know, our uh, team is singing songs, um, as you join us and you're hearing the different lessons that we're teaching, remember, you can always pause, play, go get your Bible, whatever the case may be. But I want to pray uh, with you, and I just want to, again, bring this slide up here, being kind to people who are different from you. I want to pray that God will help us do this. Amen. Father, thank you for this opportunity to hear this lesson about the Good Samaritan. And we do ask that you will help us to be kind to people who are different than us. Help us to see moments when there might be somebody that needs help, just as the man needed help and the Good Samaritan was able to help him. So, Father, we thank you for your love towards us and your compassion towards us. And we pray that you will bless us and help us to be loving and compassionate to other people. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, thank you for joining us during this month. Uh, hopefully continue to keep joining us throughout the month of uh, February. It'll be some great lessons for you to learn. God bless you. Love you all. And have a great week.